Hey, look, it's you! <laughs> Uh, yeah, that is me. Look at how sad he is. Yeah, Gingy if he was hot. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. <laughs> we just started, though. <laughs> yeah, and I'm already ready to end it all. <laughs> oh. No, you're... Cameron, like, look at me. You're very hot. Yeah, I... hot my ass. I'm gonna I'm gonna go jump into the lake like that guy who, that that... Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> right, well, the caretaker? You're yeah. Jump in the lake? Yeah, 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 him. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna dive into the lake after shooting you with a gun. <laughs> Asshole! Are you gonna try to impersonate me after this? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, welcome back to Phoenix Ray Ace Attorney, uh, starring Cameron's fucking hurt ego over here. Yeah. Any anyway. Anyways, I wanna examine Charlie. My spare plan is hey, Charlie. My is not exactly the way, so we're parking up these days. Okay, that, that hasn't changed. Yep, it's hey, it's Charlie. Oh, look at you. Do you remember what we did in the last one? Um. Well, La I remember. Larry Butts intervened. He said, he said, yo, man. He gave his testimony and everything, and um, uh, and we realized that there was two d different instances of when there was shots that took place. Um, there was ones on the boat, and not on the boat, supposedly. Um, I remember they went over the, uh, like, Phoenix Wright's uh, backstory, and the whole reason why he became, uh, a lawyer mm -hmm. and whatnot, and I gave Miles Edgeworth a, a great voice. My and I, father! <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, and also the caretaker is, uh, nowhere to be found, apparently. After being accused of a crime. Not seen again. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, I was taking a quick look. I just got a gigantic code segment from someone. <laughs> hmm, looks like Detective Gumshoe hasn't come back yet. Gumshoe, he won't be coming back today. Oh, really? Oh, he got fired the other day. <laughs> he said there was some guy he had to arrest by tomorrow. Devote shopkeeper. He should have something about catching him if it's the last thing I do, pal. Yep, that sounds like gumshoe. Good luck, gumshoe. I thought what's we'd be it? able to take missile out. No. Like, oh, what's that show? It's like everyone hates Car Carson. Everyone hates- everybody hates Chris? Yeah, everyone hates Chris. It just replaces with everyone hates gumshoe. Because <laughs> every time he does something, he gets his fucking pay docked. <laughs> yeah, he's, he like breathes and then the commissioner's like- oh, Suspension! That, that, that's- that's three dollars off of your- uh, off of your hourly paycheck. And we're like, fuck. And he's like, he's like, fuck, that's two dollars more than taking off than last week. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh. Dot, dot, dot. You look as grim as always. Hmm. Can we make out? Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, I heard this story about the class trial. Oh, you learned about Dang and Rob? <laughs> class trial? What do you mean? You don't remember? Wow. No, I don't. I love that Phoenix is the only kid that remembers this because Larry was like, yeah, I don't fucking remember this. <laughs> yeah. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it? In third grade? Lunch money? Oh, oh, right, yes. I seem to remember something like that. Nick, I think you're the only one who really remembers. <laughs> fucking loser. Well, it probably only really mattered to me anyway. That is kind of true. Some events that are really important to you are not important to others and they don't remember it and vice versa. Well, yeah, I mean, that's just people's perspective on things. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like if, if you're playing like a basketball game and you have like a 40 point game and someone else has like a 10 point game, you're clearly going to remember that more than the other person. Is. Yeah. Mr. Edgeworth, didn't you know? That trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. That, that was a dog shit reason. <laughs> <laughs> Here, thanks. That said, it does sound like the kind of thing you do. Thanks, Miles. You haven't changed a bit, have you, right? So simple. To a fault, even. Thanks. <laughs> well, maybe, yeah, but I think you changed too much, Edgeworth. God, they're so gay. <laughs> I look forward, then I look to the side, then I look forward, I look the then side. I look to the side. <laughs> oh, God. Perhaps. He, he did the perhaps face, like the cow from, um... Uh, Oh, the the dead on stair. Wait, like, what? Go back what? in the barnyard? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Edgeworth, 
Why did you become a prosecutor anyway? You used to look up to your dad. You said you wanted to be a defense attorney, right? Yeah, then he died. Yeah, and then I lost my motivation. <laughs> I couldn't let myself deny re reality like you. What do you mean? My father was taken from me, and you want me to defend criminals? Oh, I'm sorry, Wright, but I'm not that good of a person. One suspect was apprehended in your father's murder, right? Yes, and the man trapped in the elevator with my father. His name was Yanni Yogi. Why does that sound really familiar? Oh, it's because it they, the they, they, they mentioned him in the report. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, a show, we had to read his name again. Yeah. He had to be the shooter, any way you look at it. Yet, he was found innocent. That defense attorney got him off the hook. That would be Robert Hammond. And so I shot Robert Hammond. <laughs> <laughs> On that day, 15 years ago, three of us were trapped in that elevator for five hours. When we were rescued, we all suffered oxygen deprivation. I had lost all memory of the murder. Lost your memory? Even now, I can't recall what happened in that elevator. That was the crux of Yogi's attorney's argument in court. He claimed Yanni Yogi had been not a sound mind due to the oxygen deprivation. Yogi was released due to a lack of evidence. Innocent. That's when I changed my mind. I started to hate defense attorneys. C can you hate me... In the in the bedroom, <laughs> I'll go. I'll kill myself. I'll see myself. <laughs> what was your relationship with Von Karma? He's my teacher and a man who deserves respect. I learned everything I know of courtroom techniques from him. That's why I interrupt trials so often and yeah. and go objection. <laughs> yeah, and I do the exact same motions with my hands and, and arms the way he does. <laughs> tuss, tuss, tuss. Yep. So he's like my sister was to you, Nick. I guess. He is a perfectionist in all things. In court, in his personal life, in bed. I should know. I'm gay. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> he's obsessed with doing everything perfectly. Perfectly, huh? In all the cases he has taken on, none were left unsolved. And not one suspect was declared innocent. Ever. How many cases does this man go but, through? But that's... I know. It's possible some of the suspects were indeed innocent. However, it is impossible for us to accurately determine that in every case. All Von Karma does is his job, to find the suspect guilty, perfectly. In any case, it's not well impossible to find a weakness in him. Well, he's old. You could, like, hit him with a baseball bat, and I'm pretty sure he'll, like, die. You could stab him with a stake. That would be pretty cool, too. Or throw some holy water on him. Or yeah. put some garlic near him. <laughs> or you can just shoot him. Like, I, I guess. Put some garlic in his salad. You just go, <coughs> how did you know my wedding? I was a vampire. <laughs> I think I think if you took that like that 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 gun that was in in evidence <laughs> and, just and, and, and just shoot him with it like it's, he's probably pretty weak to that. Honestly, he's so pale. Do you think he would shrivel in the fucking sunlight? He'll go out and like, wow, I have third degree burns now. Yeah, he, he, that's why he has to take a recess every so often because the the artificial lights in the in the trial room they get to him. Yeah, he's like he's like, judge, I my skin is fucking burning. <laughs> And the judge is like, oh, 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 shit, oh, <laughs> get him out of here. <laughs> Quick, throw this man an umbrella. <laughs> Should a weakness appear, he would do everything in his power to make it go away. Um, Edgeworth? If I were saying, if what you're saying is true, you're heading for a guilty sentence tomorrow. He's right. Now's no time to praise the enemy, Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah, dipshit. <laughs> it's a strange situation in which I find myself, I'll admit. No kidding. Can you root for us, at least? We're your defense attorney. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not sure I can help you with that. Right. You can't help us with our attorney, but can you help Fuck. us with this parrot? It's <laughs> uh, can you what help us that? with this gun? You can use it on Von <laughs> Karma. <laughs> so fucked it. You want to show him the DL6 incident photo? <laughs> I think that'd be kind of fun. Wait, was that the... Did you give him the DL6 report? <laughs> yeah. It was the case that changed my life. And tomorrow, on December 28th, its statute of limitations runs out. Oh yeah, tomorrow. Could it be a coincidence? But, even if the case is finally closed oh, on paper, it will never be erased from my memory. Never. 
poor Mr. Edgeworth. He's being You want to give him the photo? <laughs> <laughs> that's a photo of his father. I'll show him that. You're right. <laughs> no, that's probably not a good time to try to this moment. What is it? Um, nothing. Huh? I, I thought it might let us show it to him if, if we clicked That's on so it. That's so fucked up, bro. He like reaches through and like strangles us. Yeah. He he's like he's like breaks the glass. He's like I'm gonna become a murderer for real this time. Yeah. He breaks the bulletproof glass with his fist and just strangles us first thing. What are you showing me this picture for? Um, I don't know, no reason. You, you know, I was impressed by your deduction in the trial today. Granted, you were at the end of your rope, but still. I'm about to be at the end of my rope. Get it? Like, I'm killing myself. <laughs> no! Nick, he noticed! Haha. <laughs> Alright, you ready to... You wanna talk to Grossberg? Yeah. He's gross, and an iceberg. He's out, again. Does he ever do his job? <laughs> when does he work here? <laughs> now, now, don't be harsh. Guess we'll have to come back later. He only, he only does it for the most high-profiled, uh... Clients yeah. that that pay him like a trillion dollars every single time. He represents people like his boyfriend, yeah. Red White. <laughs> I'm sorry, my boy. <gasps> there he is. Hey, pal. Long time no see. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. Goes one today. Eh? I got so worked up, I snapped my tie in half. Now this that's... is a replacement. <laughs> this is a clip on, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. No problem, pal. Thanks to you, we now know who really did it. You mean the boat shop caretaker? Look, I'll make you a promise. I'll have that scoundrel in my custody by trial time tomorrow. Come what may. It's my duty to you as a police officer. Alright. Now, I'm off to catch me a criminal. Alright, bye. Anyways, gumshoe. put your hands behind your back. You're a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> there, there she is. My, you're under arrest. <laughs> For what? For being under too many fucking waterfalls. <laughs> Fuck! That's trespassing, you know. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe sure is active today. Wow, that's so rude. <laughs> he just appears. And another thing. Oh, one other thing. Eek! No one could go into the woods today. Well, where Lada was? The woods? Oh, where Lada was camping? The woods are off limits to camping, and apparently the park ranger found out. He got pretty mad, so no one could go in for a while. No shit. I guess Lada's in a... Lot of trouble! <laughs> Dude, ah! I'm gonna kill Mike. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that joke was shit. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, Gumshoe. I love him. A lot of people love Gumshoe. A lot of people think Gumshoe's hot. What's your opinion? Mm, I think I think he's like he's like average, but I think his his wiener is probably like thirty inches long. I think he's hung as a <laughs> horse. <laughs> the steel samurai thing's uh, gone. I saw. Looks like the hot dog stand is closed, too. I guess Larry's too busy worrying about Mr. Edgeworth to show up for work. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, you want a chili dog? <laughs> Sonic's favorite! <laughs> oh, there it is. There's the bell rental shop. That old caretaker got away. Yeah, he's in the fucking one now. You think he took one of the boats and, and rode it in the lake? <laughs> he's just chilling. <laughs> Ooh, I have a sneaking suspicion about something. Yeah. Yeah? What if Von Karma is hiding him? That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, because, like, you know how he how he said, like, he's a perfectionist? Yeah, he always do gets anything. a guilty verdict. So I, he's I, just hiding a criminal? So he yeah. Gets his guilt. I, 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 think, I think that's actually... I think that's the... That'd be really funny. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that's the case, because, like, uh, it feels like something that he or Edgeworth would do. Yeah. <laughs> Actively hide a criminal. Yeah. I feel like that's obstruction of justice. Well, well they'd rather do that than be wrong. <laughs> yeah. I never imagined he might be the real murderer. <laughs> I know that clearing of the throat anywhere. Oh, hello! What might you be doing here? Ah, for a walk, hmm? Ah, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Mr. Gr gross, gross person? Fuck you. This is no time for idle reminiscing. Mr. Edgeworth's trial ends tomorrow. Oh, that is... True, yes. But from what I saw at the trade trial, Edgeworth should be fine, right? Well, I'm not sure about that. Oh, what do you mean by that? Well, I'm not sure. 
Hmm. If you find anything out, come by my office at once. I might be able to offer you some assistance. He's got some big ass boobs. Sorry. Thanks. Sorry if you heard anything. I'm eating a protein bar. How dare you? You have to read now. What do you think what Mr. Crushberg was doing here anyway? Who knows? Alright, what do you want? Maybe he was going for a swim! Under a waterfall! <laughs> The boat rental shop doesn't look like anyone's around. The caretaker must have run for the hills, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. He didn't seem like a bad person. Womp womp. <laughs> Wait, did he just leave his bird behind? Aww. Barrett. Aww, what the fuck? That's so mean. Nobody's home. Hello, hello. Quack. Hey, it's Polly. Polly, can you tell me where he hit his crack? Hello, hello, squirt. It's under the table. <laughs> I can't believe he'd run off and leave his poor parrot to fend for herself. Hello, hello, squirt. Yeah, I want to examine the parrot. Yeah, examine the parrot. See, it's, it's, there's shit on the floor. <laughs> it's where it just shits. Maybe I should take care of Polly, Nick. You probably shouldn't just kidnap her. The police know about her anyways. I'm sure they'll do something. Oh, okay. Sorry, Polly. He says I can't take you. Great, now the bird's gonna hate me. <laughs> oh, wait. Didn't we get the safe combination? Mm-hmm. I can't remember it, but... That reminds me, Nick. Polly here knows the number of the safe, right? Yeah, that's right. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One... One two two eight score. No, it's the day of. It's the day that the deal six incident happened. Yep. I'm sure there isn't any money in there. No. Oh. But hey, he keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in there. Let's steal it. Yeah, I'm. I'm not too sure. Okay, Nick, let's steal it. <laughs> I guess there might be a clue or two. The only thing in here is a letter. A letter? Yeah, fucking We just letter. got a letter. <laughs> Wonder who it's from. I saw, oh. a I saw a Danny Gonzalez meme like that. He was like, hey, mailman, what do you got? Just this letter. And it was a cutout image of an A. And they're like, ah, because you know, it's a letter. And the guy gets handed to it. He flips it over. And it's actually like a written letter. He's like, Jonathan, I don't love you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that's you. Oh, I'm boring. Hmm, there's no name or signature on this thing. It's written in a very... Precise, clear letters. Like a typewriter? Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Edgeworth? I know that guy! <laughs> hey, Nick, why would Mr. Edgeworth's name be on here? What, what do you think? How should I know? I'm, I'm going to read the whole thing. Oh, God. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. It also says, this is your last chance. Now is the time to get your revenge on the two men that ruined your life. The rest of the letter goes on to describe the murder plot in detail. How to kill Robert Hammond and frame Edgeworth. Calling Edgeworth out to the lake, getting on the boat, firing twice. This is exactly what I figured out today in court. It's all here, in perfect detail. What do you think it means, Nick? Uh, it probably means that like, they're both being set up. I don't know, but it looks like these are instructions for that caretaker. When he killed Robert Hammond, he called out Edgeworth. He was following directions. Who could, have, who could have written that letter? And what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? Yeah, but Miles didn't do anything. Look, I don't know, okay? <laughs> but one thing's for certain. This letter is an amazing clue. Shouldn't we give that to the police? <laughs> I guess it... Wait, what else is in here? Nothing left in a safe. I wonder why the caretaker didn't take the letter with him. He left in a hurry, right? I don't think he even came back here after the trial. Probably just booked it right after he was done. Ah! What? W what's wrong? Oh, uh oh, N never mind. What? Tell me. Just when I saw the TV, I remembered. Oh. You're showing a pink princess special this week. Oh my and god! I'm missing it. Oh. See, that's why I didn't want to tell you. I, I, I wanted to look at the trash can, but I guess that works. Oh, fishing pole. A fishing pole looks expensive. Maybe you should bring it to Detective Gumshoe to use as police evidence. <laughs> Do you think the caretaker would mind? 
Well, we can just leave him the metal detector in exchange. <laughs> we can't leave him. Oh my gosh, cut. wait. I wonder if you had the fishing rod, if you could leave the other fishing rod and take this one. That's so fucked up, though. <laughs> um, maybe we better not. Oh, yeah. You know, like, these are custom with Japanese, like, this is, like, like you set on the floor, and some of them are, like, heated underneath. Mm-hmm. You just said that. I did? Mm-hmm. Okay. Looks like he didn't turn his heater on. I guess he hasn't been back here since the trial. And then... the sink... Who let the sink in? <laughs> let that sink in. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like he used his kitchen much. You're right. I guess the whole pasta restaurant thing was a lie. What, you thought he was telling us the truth? <laughs> you want to venting? Among us? There's saltwater fish up here. Say, Nick! Don't people usually put pictures of fish up on the wall to post about them? Uh, yeah, I guess so. You mean pictures of the fish they caught, right? Right, but don't all the fish on the wall here look pretty puny to you? Well, you know what they say. You shouldn't see the one that got away. Except the one that got away from us was the caretaker. Oh, we did and we did see him. Why do I feel like we're having two different conversations here? I don't think there's anything else here. Can we touch the bird again? Squawk! Oh. Squawk! Have to kill yourself! <laughs> okay. I was the one who gave him the letter! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the parrot fucking wrote it. <laughs> Alright, where do you want to move to now? Let's show Edgeworth the, the photo. Or not the photo, the letter. Okay. We're like, yo, how the- you fucked up this man. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Alright, and then... And then you're showing this, right? <laughs> yeah. It's why. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Edgeworth, see this letter? Hmm? This came out of the safe in the shack where the boat rental caretaker lives. I see. Re Revenge on me? That could have been anyone. <laughs> Who is that old guy anyway? Uh, I don't know. Could he have been an innocent defendant that you got declared guilty or something? <laughs> nice, right? But I don't remember that old man. Not at all. So he was following this letter, then? Which means there was someone else behind it. Now it's time to get the revenge on the two men that ruined your life. Two men, meaning myself and Robert Hammond? It also says, this is your last chance. Last chance? Wait, maybe... Maybe he's talking about the Statue of Limitations on the DL6 in it. Wait. Wait, that old man. What, what is it? Do you know who he is? Yogi. Could he be Yogi? Yogi? The suspect in the DL6 incident. The one who was found innocent. Okay, you ready to take the controller back? <laughs> he was eating. <laughs> I'm mid chew. Yanni Yogi. Yanni Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. We just happened to be in that elevator together 15 years ago. <laughs> and then the screen was shaking! The quake was incredibly strong. Before I knew it, everything was dark. Sorry. <laughs> now, mid you. You, of course, started this while I was eating the last bite. I was trying to finish it fast, I'm and so I took a giant bite of my protein bar. I'm sorry. I saw that your hands were empty. I was like, oh, he's done. <laughs> you know, my mouth isn't empty. Well, I gave you the controller bag. You're gonna get ahead a second. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. It's not going down right at all. Do you want some peach tea? <laughs> no. Oh. We were there for so long, it felt like forever. <coughs> The air thinned and the darkness closed in on us in that little box. We became unsettled. Help, I can't breathe! Quiet, I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. I want to get out. Help, get us out. And don't shout, you're going to use more oxygen. That's all I remember. When I came to, I was in a hospital bed, staring up at the ceiling. In court, 
Yanni Yogi's mental condition was called into question. They claimed the oxygen deprivation and stress had caused temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed the court and Yogi was found innocent. Huh, but isn't that strange? This letter tells him to get revenge on Edward. Why do you want to take revenge on you? Right. Yeah? There's something that's been troubling me these last few days. I didn't know whether or not I should tell you. You mean the nightmare? It's a nightmare I've had. A memory of a crime that I committed. A crime you committed? A memory of a murder. I think... I think the time has come to tell all. Finally, I can hear about your gay backstory. <laughs> For the last 15 years, I've had the same dream almost every night. I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. What kind of dream? It's a dream about my father's killing in the dark. Help, I can't breathe. Quiet, I say quiet. You're making, the, you're not making this any easier. I'm gonna get out. Help, get us out. Don't shout, you're using up more oxygen. I, I can't breathe. You, you're using up my air. What? Stop breathing my air. I'll, I'll stop you. What? What are you? Stop breathing my air. <laughs> that smiles, by the way. <laughs> no, father. He's attacking father. Then I see the pistol lying by my feet. I don't know if it was evidence from that day in court or the bailiffs. In a daze, I picked up a pistol. Get away! Get away from my father! Bang! Wow! And with that scream, I wake. It's a bone-chilling scream. A scream that has rung in my ears for the past 15 years. But, but, that's just a dream, right? Right? That thought is the only thing that has kept me sane for the last 15 years. Oh. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's real? They say that sometimes people shut out memories in self-defense. Maybe it was I who killed my father. What? If you think about it that way, this letter makes sense. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Think about it. Yogi was really innocent. That's why he wanted revenge against me. Wait, Edgeworth, you, you mean... It was me. I was the true criminal of DL6. I shot my father. This is bad. What are we going to do, Nick? What can we do? I don't cry. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't think it's anything we can do, like it or not. If there's someone else who knows a lot about the DL6 incident, maybe... There is, Nick! There is someone else who knows about DL6. <sighs> Grossberg, right? Stop showing him that picture of his dead dad! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta remind him that he's the one that shot him. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucked up. <laughs> you would be a horrible defense attorney. You might explain this if it's a father dead relative. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Grossberg! Oh, hello there! What's wrong? You look troubled. No kidding! I can't believe you're not! M my, my, my! Just calm down and tell me what happened, hmm? It's Mr. Edgeworth! He. He. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm not qualified to take on this case. <laughs> I see. So, Edgeworth dreamt he shot his own father? It's only a dream! Only a dream! I wonder... What? If it was the case, then why do you two look so troubled, hmm? Well... Also, consider this. My dick. <laughs> <laughs> consider <See how> it. <laughs> <laughs> Yogi quite certainly holds a deep grudge against Miles Edgeworth. So deep that he wants to frame him for murder. This leads to me. This leads me to surmise that Mr. Edward's dream is not the dream. It is real, as you imagined. 
Miles Edgeworth threw the pistol to save his father. And the pistol fired, and the deed was done. <laughs> no! I don't believe you! You better start believing me, sister. This is reality. Oh, no hell's gravity. <laughs> Yogi was a suspect of murder, and his career as a bailiff was irreversibly wrecked. Though he sought revenge on Miles Edgeworth. It was his last chance, of course, with the Statue of Limitations so close. Why would he want to get revenge on his defense attorney, though? He got him off innocent. Oh, ho, and this is a letter! It does seem like Yogi was following this letter when he killed Hammond. Why kill Robert Hammond? That's what I'm saying. Hammond was a skilled defense attorney. But he defended clients, not for their sake, but for his own. For his own sake? He never trusted his clients, not one. The only thing he trusted was his own ability. Damn. But he got his client found innocent, so why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. He won that innocent verdict, but no one but himself. Yogi was a free man, but socially he was ruined. Huh. You understand soon enough. Wait. What is it? This letter. I've seen this handwriting somewhere before, a long time ago. Whose handwriting was it? Do you have any idea who wrote this? Oh shit. Oh shit. Um, could it be Manfred von Karma? Von Karma? Why would he have something to do with this? Oh, was I wrong? Because he wasn't another option. <laughs> Well, um, I'm not sure. Hmm, Von Karma. Von Karma. Wait, you're right, my boy. This is Von Karma's handwriting, I'm oh, sure of it. Oh, shit. I'm used to seeing it all the time in court re reports. What? But, but that means that the one who told Mr. Yogi to kill was... Correct. Manfred Von Karma himself. What does this mean, then? Why would Von Karma want to frame Edgeworth? Mmm. I have a feeling. Were we supposed to talk to him? Are we? <laughs> and all this shit to talk to him about! <laughs> we keep doing this! Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm too, I'm too smart for my own good. Yeah. But, um, my, my feeling is... So, you know how uh, Manfred von Karma is a perfectionist? Yeah. I think that... Uh, one of two things. Uh, either... He did actually lose a case, and it was Edra's father who who did it, uh, who was the one that, like, uh, actually, you know, defended the person well enough to, to like, cause him to lose a case. Mm -hmm. Thus, Manfred von Karma wanted revenge on, on him, so he, like, orchestrated it and everything. Um, and then when, uh, when Edgeworth, like, uh, came up. He was. Uh, he's then scared that like Edward's gonna take his place or something like that, and so he wants. He wants to also mm -hmm. kill him and whatnot, um, or so or like some, something like similar of the sort. Like it, it might have been like he was in the middle of a case and he was losing in his last resort. Was like, to kill his father? <laughs> yeah, because like you know how he's how they keep alluding to the fact that like they'll do anything for yeah. a guilty verdict. So that's that's my that's my thoughts on it. But, um, All right, talk to him. We gotta. What do you know about Edward's father? He was a fence attorney without pyre. He loved pears. <laughs> it, it sounds trite, but it's true. Well, he might have had one pair now that I think about it. Your mentor, Mia Fey. My sister? Gregory Edward was very disapproving of Von Karma's tactics. That's no surprise. Von Karma was an extreme. Extreme man, forging testimonies and evidence for n are nothing done. The result, he has a perfect win record in court. To be him, Gregory, uh, Gregory, the uh, fuck, <laughs> Gregory, <laughs> Gregory, Gregory, how the fuck did you get up there? <laughs> get you, <laughs> Gregory, you have to vent. <laughs> Gregory, you're gonna find Vanessa's OnlyFans code in Boxy's room. <laughs> to beat him, Gregory Edwards tried to call attention to his methods. And? He fucking lost. <laughs> oh shit! 
<laughs> and he died in despair as it were. I see. Yeah, I didn't know Mia Faye and Edward and Gregory worked together. Like, I, all right. When Gregory Edgeworth was killed, the police called on the sphere medium. That was your mother, Mia C. Faye. And Gregory Edgeworth, I have been killed. The one who shot me was the bailiff, Yanni Yogi. Yet Yogi was found innocent. That's when my mother left us. Everyone called her a fraud. That's right. Everyone thought that she was, you see. Yet, now that I think about it, it seems the one that lied was Gregory Edgeworth's ghost. Gregory Edgeworth was... must have known who shot him. I don't believe it. So you're saying he falsified his testimony? That Edgeworth's dad lied to protect his son? It's only a possibility, mind you. But a possibility nonetheless. If it's true what Von Karma wrote this letter, then he must know the truth. You know... He would know that Miles Edgeworth had accidentally killed his own father. He says he'll say as much tomorrow in court, I would think. He'll press the point until the court finds Miles Edgeworth guilty. Oh no. But, but how could Von Karma know about Mr. Edgeworth's past like this? Even Mr. Edgeworth thought it was just a nightmare. Hmm, well I do not know. Yet I do know that Von Karma is both persistent and a perfectionist. It might be seeking to certify a grudge against Gregory Edgeworth for hurting his son. Oh, by hurting his son. Oh, uh, what do you mean? It was 15 years ago. Von Karma met Gregory Edgeworth in court, and Von Karma d did win, but he didn't make it through the trial and scared. I want to hear about this. Did they fight in court? <laughs> what happened in the trial between Edgeworth's dad and Von Karma? Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. He won the trial. But Gregory Edgeworth accused Von Karma of falsifying evidence, and he. And though he lost the trial, Mr. Edgeworth's accusations stood. Faulty evidence. It was the only penalty Von Karma has ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Oh, so I was like, I was like, sort of right and wrong, that, like, uh, Ed, that his dad did something to like kind of piss off. Yeah, he Von didn't get Karma. a not guilty verdict, but he did like. Ever. He has eyes on the like the court's eyes are on Von Karma after that one. Yeah. Wow. Well, it must be quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that. You see, a vacation. Yeah, he he was on a vacation hiring hitmen. He was yeah. like hire a hit on this asshole. He was like, hire a hit on this asshole, and then his son just killed him instead. <laughs> He's like ah shit, I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an unusual event for the man. That was the first and the last vacation he's taken in many years of prosecuting. He's been prosecuting for 40 years and he's only been one fucking vacation? Really? He doesn't take vacations? Like, go to the sea or the uh, mountains? Don't tell me he's never been to Europe! You have strange ideas about vacation, Maya. I mean, she's poor. <laughs> Phoenix only Beal. <laughs> in any case, it was the only time he took a vacation from work. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. Odd. If he wanted to keep a perfect record so badly, why would he take a long vacation? What do we do, Nick? I don't know, fucking... Von Karma's going to bring up DL6. You can bet on it. What if Mr. Edgeworth pleads guilty to DL6? I won't let him. Er, um, yes, Miss... Mr. Wright. I hate to say this, but even accidental murder is murder, you know? I know that. I'm curious. Uh, because the statute of limitations isn't up on on this quite yet. Yeah, it's but tomorrow. Be but because he was a child, would he get tried as a child even though he's an adult? I have no idea. That's a good question. Because like when he committed it, he w he would have been a child. Supposing he did do it, I don't. I mean, yeah. I don't know fully if he was 100 percent the one who did it. But I guess it all depends on like how old you are now, because some trials take forever, and then they. Well, I, I don't know. I, I feel like that's not fair though, because like the incident happened when you were of that age, so like you could have like matured and you wouldn't have done like the a sa the same thing, because like if if you know it pl it actually played out like how it was, then 
you know, his, like, childish instincts to, like, protect his father and whatnot were, like, that's, like, how it all happened. He would have been a lot more rational now. So I don't think he could really get, like... Obviously, I'm not saying, like, he should get sent to juvie. Yeah. As, like, a fucking 23-year-old, but... Yeah. But, like, uh... Would it be murder in the second degree? Because it's accidental murder. It's not murder yeah, one. Yeah, it's, it's not premeditated. Yeah. Um... Well, it should be considered manslaughter. I don't know why That's they, it, I don't right. know why they say accidental murder. Like cuz it's not a homicide, it's yeah. manslaughter. Like if you hit someone with a car and, That's manslaughter. and, and kill them, yeah. Manslaughter with a vehicle. <laughs> yeah, it's vehicular manslaughter. Yeah, vehicular manslaughter. I know that one because there is a yes, there, you. <laughs> No, because there was a in 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 Halo, if you hit someone with a car and killed them, it was called vehicular manslaughter. Oh. <laughs> and the uh, the person would announce it to you and it sounded funny. <laughs> All right. So, so I'd, I'd used to say like, I can't wait to go around and vehicular manslaughter people. <laughs> yeah, games kind of ruined you as a kid. <laughs> I just, I just believe in Edward's innocence. I can't believe he kills someone. But, but Nick, Mr. Edward admits to it himself. His father must have lied to protect him from beyond the grave. Or his father was just legit telling the truth, and Von Karma staged all of this stuff with with Yanni Yogi, and then. He was trying to frame him so that it doesn't go back to him mm. and whatnot. And by frame him, I mean make him do all this stuff. He probably put some put some stuff in his mind. And since Yanni Yogi is not very smart right now because, you know, his... Oxygen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think, I'm thinking that, uh... I'm thinking Edward still didn't do it. Mm-hmm. Because, uh... Doesn't he come back for ne the next He's literally years? in, like, two spin-off games. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I know he's not guilty. Yeah, isn't this isn't this the thing with your uh, when you're a defense lawyer? You don't you believe in your clients. Yeah, it's not necessarily that like. Um, uh, I can't remember like the way that they phrase it, but yeah, it's essentially just like believing your clients. Yeah, it's not over until the trial's over or some shit. I don't know. Well, that's not exactly what I was thinking, but good enough. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Wright, if you say so, I suppose I could go check again. The police files might be holding something of interest. Mr. Grossberg, thank you. Oh, by the way, here's the police files. We just have them. Yeah. I can't promise anything. In fact, I think the chances of finding something are slim. I understand. The police materials, hmm. Oh, like where we found the fucking DL6 shit. Here you go. This incident took place 15 years ago tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll see the compilation of not one, but two trials. All thanks to the statute of limitations. However, I'm afraid that the damage of DL6 incident has done has done will never be at ease. Never be eased. W fuck you. He's not gonna take the files from us? Here, take these. Uh, quite so, eh? But I have no idea what to say about that concern. Alright. I guess. Hi, policeman. <laughs> I like that guy. Did you find him, Gumshoe? There's hardly anyone here. Everyone must be out looking for that old guy, Yogi. Oh, it's you! I didn't think Gumshoe would be back today. He's saying I like looking for someone. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe is pounding the pavement for real. Yeah, he fucking up that pavement. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, we were wondering if we could check out the records room again. Well, no, I don't think anyone would want her back there. But I guess Von Karma is in there, too, and it Oh shit. He ain't going as long as he's in there. Von Karma? Yeah, you're just right, actually. Von Karma's in the record room. N Nick! Let's hurry! Let's go shoot him! <laughs> yeah, we run in there, we just. Move, bitch! <laughs> Tag. It's that scene from White Chicks when we're like, we're like running to the DL6 files and push him out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Dusty as always. Von Karma, not the record room. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, let's not announce our presence here. We're only hindered yesterday. I'm sure they just haven't had time to clean. What's wrong, Nick? Nothing. I just noticed that he isn't here. Von Karma. Wait, is it? What the? F this cabinet is where they keep evidence of current cases. Some of the things are obviously murder weapons, and others are question marks. Most of it just looks like random junk. Nick, what do you think this clothespin is for? Don't touch that. That's evidence. <laughs> We don't need you to accuse him of murder. <laughs> Looks like there's files inside the glass case. This case is so dusty I can't see what's inside. 
Nick, it's locked! Good. <laughs> they must keep important case files in there. So what was it? On the side? Oh. Didn't I scan- didn't you scan that? I tried to. I guess it wasn't on the- oh. Huh? One of the drawers here is open. Someone must have been looking through it recently. The label says, unsolved cases, evidence. Hmm, unsolved cases. Nick! The file for deal six, it's completely empty. What? What are you doing in here? Oh, I don't like, I don't like <laughs> yeah. his front profile. Go back to the core room. <laughs> hey! I'm Karma! You. How do you know my name? Huh? Uh huh? Have we met? W what are you saying? We see each other every day, don't we? We're Miles Edgeworth's team, the defense team. D defense team? I am. Uh, I beg your pardon, you see. I rarely remember defense attorneys. What? They're like bugs to me, needless things to be crushed. I can see how this guy was Edgeworth's mentor. We can talk to him? <laughs> So, how you feel about the trial? Yeah, I'm gonna present this letter from the safe that literally has your handwriting on it. Yeah, just fucking... But fine, I'll talk to him first. I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> um, Mr. Edgeworth is your student, right? A romanticist who still can't shed that veneer of amateurism. Just like his father. Always second rate. Mr. Von Karma? You had an axe to grind with Mr. Gregory Edgeworth, didn't you? Gregory? You have to vent, Gregory. It's like Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> Me, a grudge against a mere defense attorney? Why? Mm. Because he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect trial record. Hmm. So you did. And... Wait. <laughs> so you did. And what I don't get is... It's, it, that says but. Um, How is it that hard to say that word? <laughs> You had to- you had to back up, and he says the word, but. But what I don't get is... <laughs> why did you take his son under your wing and afterwards? The son of the most- of your most bitter rival. Don't smile at me. That, my dear attorney, is none of your business. Oh, cool, thanks. Tomorrow will be the last day of this trial. It's been a while since I've had a de defense attorney last this long. Usually I have them nutting in round two. <laughs> Still, you in round two. Out. Miles Edgeworth will admit his own guilt. His guilt of 15 years ago, you mean? You're quite the researcher. If you've done your homework so well, then certainly you must understand. You know what Miles Edgeworth will tell the court tomorrow. We were right. So Von Karma is going to bring up DL6 in court tomorrow. Oh, fuck. Yeah, how about I present, uh, this to you? Why would you do that?! <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, have a look at this! It's your guilt! <laughs> this is you, wasn't it? You instructed Yanni Yogi to commit murder. Yanni Yogi. How many years has it been since I've heard him called by that name? He's a fool. I told him to burn it after he read it. So, so you admit it? You, you wrote Mr. Yogi this letter! Uh-oh. Yes, my dear defense attorney. Thank you for taking the trouble to bring it to me. You saved me from a lot of needless hassle. What? N Nick! What is that thing? A stun gun? For self-defense, usually! Indeed. 600,000 volts will course through your body like a dog touching an electric fence. 600,000? Oh, don't worry, people don't die from it, usually. Now, give me the letter. No! No! Whoa, what are you? Nick, run! <laughs> Maya? Out of my way. <laughs> Aren't there cameras in here? This is a police station, sir. The next thing that we see is like, you died! <laughs> but in like the, the Wii Sports font. <laughs> <laughs> he got us. The letter's gone, of course. And he took the DL6 evidence. All of it. Back to having no clues. Wait, Maya jumped first. Maya! Is she okay? 
Oh, I got flashed by white. <laughs> M Maya? Maya, open your eyes! Maya! The letter! Did he take it? Huh? Oh. Yeah, are you okay? I... I couldn't stop him. I jumped as fast as I could, but one shot from that thing knocked me out cold. I'm useless. Aww. I'm no good as a lawyer or a medium. I can't even call my sister. Not even now when we need her the most. I wish I hadn't woken up at all. Oh, what the fuck? I don't remember this being sad. Maya? Well, do you remember watching it where they actually gave him the letter? Yeah, they did. He had to do it, which is kind of stupid. Oh, so this is like a required thing? Yeah. No, oh, I, I just thought it was like a, an alternate. No, I wish. Maya, she's holding something. What is that? A bullet? DL6 incident at number 7, taken from the heart of Gregory Edgeworth. I remember... Bunkarm was holding this when Maya jumped him. You jumped him? <laughs> Curb stomped him. So bears clear ballistic markings. Oh, I wonder if it's gonna match the gun that... Uh, that we have. I'll prove it to you, Maya. You're the most... You're most definitely not useless. I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. Oh shit. Things are heating up. Yep. Do you think they'll find that old man? No. Oh. I don't think it's gonna matter. Final day tomorrow. Yep. Well, this was a, a interesting ride for this this episode. Mm -hmm. Figured out figured out a lot of stuff. Uh, some of the stuff I was thinking was right. Some of it was definitely not. <laughs> Von Karma seems to be pulling a lot of strings here. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a he's an interesting character. Um, curious to see uh, what's gonna happen in the in the court tomorrow. And I'm also very curious as to why Phoenix didn't just fucking make a copy of the evidence. Cause he's not he's not smart. He's a rookie. <laughs> well, or or well, I mean, I guess he could have turned it into the. Police. He could have just. He should have just given it to Gumshoe. Yeah. Well, we haven't seen Gumshoe. He's like, all right, see you later, pal, and then ran off to find an old man. We haven't seen him like everywhere we went. But there was no Gumshoe. Yeah. Or or we could have done is just been like, uh, been like, hey, Mister Mister Chief of Chief of Police. Uh, uh, I found this evidence. Um. Or uh, you know you don't call it evidence because then he's gonna have Von Karma look at it. You gotta be like, I found uh, this note. I, I found this note. Could you just like hold on to this for me? And then you go, then you go, uh, make, uh, or you make a copy of it, keep the original with the chief, and then you bring the copy to Von Karma, so that he stun guns you, takes it, burns it, and then you're like, I got the original. Yeah, you hold up the original, and he's like, ah, and then he burns it right in front of you, you're like, ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> uh, but, anyways, I'm just interested to see, uh, how we're gonna make it come to light, that he was the one kind of orchestrating things. I'm curious still if he was the one orchestrating things from back then, if uh, if Edgeworth was actually the one who shot his dad, or if it was Yanni Yogi, um, and I have a sneaking suspicion that we're gonna see Mia in the in the next episode. I don't even remember if she does show up. Well, even if she doesn't, we're still winning this bitch, and you're probably gonna see me get things wrong in this in the next episode. Let's go! <laughs> but anyways, I can't wait to get a game over again. <laughs> For the fourth time. <laughs> Yay. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Mm -hmm. See y'all on the next one. Yeah. Bye-bye.